This is Chris Schlarp with Big Ego. Today we're going to do a quick overview of the studio's console. So we chose um, an Audient 4816. It's a 16-channel modern British console. Uh, and we did a ton of reading and research before we bought it. But I had a hard time finding videos online that had good explanations of the routing, the EQ, what you could do with it, what records sounded like that were made on it. I think a lot of people know about the Audient preamps through their sort of lower consumer grade interfaces, the ID 44, 22, and 14, and so on. And the preamps sound the same to me. I think they even market it as being the same pre's in the console as in any of their consumer grade products. So to me, the preamps on this board sound fantastic. Uh, the example we're going to use today, this track that you're hearing is the Christian Fellowship Chorale. This was a live session uh, and record that we're working on here at the studio. The chorale is under the direction of Maestro Timothy Williams, and I just wanted to thank everyone in the chorale and Tim for allowing us to use this track. As a Long Beach guy who used to play in the gospel choir at Jordan High School, this record means a lot to me, so I'm glad that we're doing it here and doing it the way that we make records at Big Ego, which is we have everybody in the room for the most part at the same time. Here, we're only talking about 11 channels, so three on the drums, bass, uh, probably about four for the choir, one for the lead vocal, piano, and organ. I'm gonna solo out just the piano real quick and give you an idea of uh, what the EQ on this board sounds like. So let's pull that up. So we've got no EQ in at all right now. The EQ on this board is set up so that it's switchable in or out in two sections. You've got your high and low shelves, um, and those two frequencies are switchable between 10K and, yeah, it looks like 18K. And then the low frequency, the, the low shelf is 50 Hertz and 100 Hertz. So we got nothing in at the moment. I'll give you the 18K and then 10. We'll take that out. Here's the low shelf. So that's 50 Hertz and there's a hundred. We'll take that out. And let's do the upper mids. This is at the full wide bell. And then we can sweep. Here's the low mids. We can kind of find where it gets a little thick and muddy and pull that out. We'll bring in the organ and drums, bass. So one thing I just wanted to point out here is that everything was tracked live. We had drums in the ISO with three mics, bass was DI'd, piano and organ cut live. And you can barely hear you know, a 25 person choir singing right next to uh, these instruments. It's bringing everything in. So each channel strip on this board, you know, you've got your, your preamp with the uh, phantom phase, high pass filter, tons of routing options. Uh, you can molt tracks out. You can combine two or three channels into a single uh, channel for capture. Um, let's say you had like a bass cab and a DI and you just wanted a single channel. Well, just run them to the same, um, the same fader. Uh, each channel then has six aux sends, two Q sends, 
short and long throw faders, each with their own pan, solo and cut. So there's our quick demo of the studio's Audient ASP 4816. 